In this video, I'm going to show you how to lock an object. Um, for example, oops, let me get out of this. <laughs> um, for example, um, I'm going to want to, um, maybe I want to change um, this tank top. And if I get in here, I want to select, um, I want to click and drag and select both of these anchor points. I can hold shift to hold both, sure, but I think I'd rather click and drag to get them both. But when I do that, I accidentally selected the layer underneath and I don't want to do that. I'm going to hit Command Z. So I put that back. So because I don't want to move that, I will select it and then I will go Object Lock. I actually prefer just hitting Command 2. I know it seems like I'm having you memorize a lot of keyboard shortcuts, but trust me, it's so handy. Um, so now I can click and drag and the anchor points that I need selected will be selected. Um, and then if I decide I do want to move this croaky, I want to unlock it, I just go to Object, Unlock All. And voila, he is now unselected, which is nice. Um, another way to do it, because in Illustrator there's always more than one way, you can go to Layers, and it's kind of deceiving. It says I only have one layer. However, if I click that little triangle, it drops down, and you can see um, my, la my separate layers. Right now, this croquis is selected, so that's why there's a little blue square there. I can hit Lock there as well, and then I can hit Unlock as well. So that's another way. Um, so if you find something you keep accidentally selecting and you don't want to select it, go lock it. And then that way hopefully it won't be giving you trouble anymore.